so much for tuning in today. My name is Jacqueline and in today's video, I will be reviewing the Amore Pacific Color Control Cushion Compact Foundation. But before we get started, and if you're new here, please consider to subscribe to my channel, ring that little notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload new videos. And I would love to have you also follow me on my Instagram. I would love to see you there. And if you want to know a little bit more about this K-Beauty Foundation, just keep on watching. Okay, my friends, so in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this Amore Pacific Color Control Cushion Compact with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. Um, and the shade that I got is Light Medium 204 Yellow. Here it is the box that it comes with. And then when you open it up, the compact comes in this package. If you're not familiar with Amore Pacific, it's a K-Beauty brand. And when I was shopping at Sephora during the VIB sale, I decided to give it a try. Now, this cushion only comes in five different shades. The price is $60 and you get 1.05 ounces of product. The shade that I got is 204 Light the shade that I got is 204 Light Medium Yellow and the description of it, it is that this foundation is light to medium skin with golden undertones for this shade. There's another shade called Light Pink and it's an ivory with neutral to cool skin tones. Then Light Medium Pink, it's a light beige for neutral to cool skin tones. 106 is a tan beige with neutral to peachy undertones. And then 208 medium yellow, it's an amber tan with peachy warm undertones. At Sephora, you can find this um, large size of cushion and also they have mini size, but the mini size, they only come in two different shades. And that is the 104 light to medium pink and the 204 light to medium yellow and the cost of the mini travel size is $15 which um, if you are interested after this video or if you have been eyeing it and you didn't know Sephora offers it also on a mini size it may be good to get that one just you know to try and do not spend the $60 of this cushion. Now let's go over what this cushion foundation offers. It is supposed to give you a radiant finish it also has a long-lasting, light, flawless coverage. It has bamboo zap that hydrates and soothes. It also has green tea that brightens and provides antioxidant protection. And like I said before, it has a broader spectrum of SPF 50 plus. This is the patented air cushion technology that changed the face of beauty. And if you didn't know, Amore Pacific was the creator of the cushion compact concept so they were the first ones to came up with this concept in the beauty market which that is really impressive this foundation is also dermatology tested and in the direction says that it you should apply it liberally for 15 minutes before sun exposure because this is basically your spf combined kind of like a tinted type of uh, of spf type of thing but with a little bit more coverage than that and you are supposed to reapply at least every two hours and if you're this is not water resistant so if you're using uh if you need to go for swimming or you're know you're going to be sweating then you should use another uh, water resistant sunscreen under this um compact this is very important to know that this cushion foundation it's multifunctional so basically it's a perfect blend for skincare and coverage and it's it also protects you from sun damage it's good for normal oily combination and dry skin and it also helps with dryness dullness and an even texture and this product is also cruelty free which i love now let's get to open this um package right here and it comes with a little bit of instructions on how you're supposed to apply it this is the outer package right here and then inside this little bag comes the actual compact with a little sponge you're supposed to be using this sponge for application the compact comes with a seal too right there 
later. So this is interesting. Uh, all right, so basically the compact came already with my cushion in. I'm supposed to open it up and then you it comes with a refill. I didn't read that part, that's awesome. So I got a refill already for it. So when I open it up, it's there. I didn't read it anywhere, but basically you receive two products. So you get your compact, the product inside, the little applicator, but you also get a refill in it, which is great. And then another applicator. That's great. Then you have a nice size mirror right here. Okie dokie. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying it and see how it goes because this, um, cushion is mostly marked as an SPF. Um, I want to see if it will leave me like any white strikes and how is the scent. I mean, it has a very mild scent, kind of like baby powder scent. Okay, well, let's just start with the application. There you go right here, and I'm just going to tap it in. This foundation also contains fragrance on the ingredients, which is the only downside. Um, I wish they, could, they didn't put any fragrance, but maybe they were trying to mask the zinc oxide, you know, that SPF type of um, smell. Okay, so it's applying really nice. And it's actually radiant a little bit more into the glowy side. And I don't know why, but I have a lot of redness on my cheeks right now, or I think I know why. I have started to use Retin-A, um, and maybe that's why my skin is a little bit like, I don't like it, what you're putting on me. <laughs> Okay, so I don't know if you can tell from the camera or not, the shade matched me pretty well, but it has still a little bit of that white peeking through. Um, I mean, in comparison with my dark circles, I think you can tell more. So this little sponge is not really absorbent. Like, it's not like a beauty blender type of a sponge. Okay, the finish is really, really pretty. Radiant, a little bit more into the glowy side. Next, I'm gonna go with my Tom Ford concealer. And I was able to exchange it to the shade 5 Bare Beige, which is still really light. Um, but the shade that I had previously was the shade 3 and that was even lighter than this. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes with this Levage um, Healthy Glow Sheer Powder number 20. And I have reviewed this powder along with the full collection of Levage. And honestly, this setting powder, although it says glow, doesn't have any shimmer and it's not glowy. To me, it's actually more into the matte side. So that's why I'm okay at setting my under eye area with this powder. And it's super finely milled too. I want to bring you up close right now because the foundation has to start settling into my fine lines. You can see right there, just a little. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the foundation in the areas that I think it will start creasing um, the most and then um, apply the rest of my powders. I wanna tap, it feels a little bit sticky, the foundation. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't think I like the finish of this foundation. Let me do something because I put in my hand on and it just created this, you know, like when you have like a film of something on your skin and you take it out, it looks like rice paper or crinkly paper. That's how it looks like. So let me just, I'm going to zoom you in right here so I can show you and then I'm going to try to fix it. I don't know, it's kind of like a little bit tacky, the foundation, and as soon as I put my finger on, it lifted up. 
so I will say that you most likely are going to need to powder your, um, you know, powder this foundation. Otherwise, it will start maybe like coming off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just powder on the areas that I feel I want to powder. I'm not going to powder my entire face and then see how it works throughout the day. And let me try to fix this area right here where I put my finger on. Okay, so it was easy to fix. It's not like that bad, but just to let you know on that one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more of this Chanel powder on wherever I'm going to apply my blush and my bronzer. Next I'm going to go with my bronzer and I'm going to be using this La Mer 2019 bronzer. I also had a beta review on this item and I'm just going to go around the whole thing, tap it out and start bronzing up my face. ahead and use a little bit more of this bronzer by Dior is the Wild Earth one. So this is just a new edition and I'm just gonna apply a little bit more because the bronzer by La Mer is a very light bronzer. Not that it's bad, it's good. I don't mind about it. But just to bronze up just a little bit more going to be using this one. Next I'm going to apply blush and I'm going to be using the Tom Ford Sheer Cheek Duo in Exotic Floral. It's this one right here. <laughs> I think I'm going to use these down here. I kind of like the orangey shade. And for highlighter I'm going to be using the Omega Glaze Runway Collection Worth the Wait by Marc Jacobs. So here's Okay, now that I have applied my powders on my face, let me bring you a little bit closer so I can show you how is this foundation looking on my face. So, first thing, it didn't set completely and some of the foundation was lifting when applying my products, regardless when I have already set it with the Chanel powder. Um, it leaves a little bit of the product on this area all right here the skin is peeking through I don't know if you can see it but you can see like that it's it has been moved around so so I don't know if maybe needs another type of setting powder that has a little bit more strength it's just moved the foundation has moved on my skin and as you can tell it's a very light coverage. It's not even medium right there. I will be giving you some check-ins throughout the day. Right now I'm filming for another video too. I'm gonna go ahead and film my eye look separately and then I will be back giving you check-ins throughout the day. I want to make sure to let you know that I'm not gonna be doing any setting spray over this makeup. Um, just so we can see the wear of this foundation. So just to let you know, it's 6.04 in the morning. There you go, if you can see it. So if you want to know how this foundation works throughout the day, just keep on watching. Okay, my friends, so it's 11.01 uh, in the morning. I had had this foundation for a little while right now, and I will have to say that it's holding up really well. Um, I have, I don't know, it's wearing off a little bit where I put the highlighter on, but it's just staying nicely above on my forehead. Um, like I mentioned when I was applying my skin products, it lifts it up. Now it's completely set. Um, I put, you know, all my products, all my makeup on so I cannot reapply it. But let me give you a quick swatch of this uh, foundation. So I'm just going to tap it in with my finger. 
so you can take a look of the finish a lot of your clothes you see how nice and glowy it is it's really beautiful I also wanted it to show you if this foundation transfer so let me see right here chick 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 uh, no it doesn't transfer at all so that's that's a good thing now my friends it is time for me to go out and about and well my day has started already but I need to do other stuff so I will be checking back with you I will do a few check-ins and let you know my final thoughts on the solution okay my friends so it's about three o'clock 3 30 in the afternoon I just want to bring you close. As you can see, the foundation has wear off and settle a little bit right here on my um, nose. Uh, it's still looking pretty good on my forehead. And um, I don't know if you can see it up there close how the foundation has like come off from this area where I apply my highlighter. And that started from the beginning of the day. Now I have been eating, so this bar right here, sorry, my mustache. <laughs> um, the foundation has removed from this area. So far it's looking okay. It's not like the best, best, but I think um, it's holding up well overall. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to keep going throughout my day and then give you a wrap up at the end of my day and see what are my final thoughts so thank you so much and keep on watching please okay my friends so it's the end of the day for me uh well not really the end of the day but i need to do a lot of other stuff the time is 10 21 at night right now and i think i have my final thoughts on this foundation overall after what has it been maybe 14 hours wear test um it has worked pretty well um I just don't like how it works off like here on my temple I found some trouble on this area right here on my face it looks a little bit crackly a little bit like I don't know like patchy like it doesn't wear off in a very glamorous way I should say it just looks it started looking like patchy like little little dots every everywhere like tiny itsy bitsy dots. You can tell right here how it's wearing. You can see the little dots that I'm talking about. Uh, it didn't settle that much on my fine lines. So I think this is not a foundation that you can use it every day. I mean, it says on the application to actually have to reapply it every two hours because it's mostly skincare, it's a sunscreen. For this type of foundation, I don't think it's best any powder products. Maybe if you use cream products, it will be a little bit more smooth, easier on reapplying it. But this is not a foundation that will, um, you know, make you look flawless throughout the day. It, it wears off like an SPF well. So I really love the brand, uh, the message, what it's behind. I love the clean products that it has. I, the only thing I don't like is that it contains fragrance in it. Um, but other than that, I like the fact that it's an SPF. So I will still wear it and obviously not for so for a long time and not with so much makeup. I will say maybe I will get, you know, like a little stick of, you know, blush, creamy blush and creamy type of bronzer type of thing and apply it that way and just combine it with those products that way because I think the wear will be better and I will be able to reapply those products a little bit easier than powder. This is a radiant finish, minimal coverage, like medium coverage at the most uh, but it gives a beautiful finish and it doesn't feel like regular SPF so I think that's the part that I love the most the SPF part the skincare part um, that it has like a little bit of a tint but I will give this foundation no more than five to six hours wear time and again reapplication I think it's really important I really love that it comes with a second compact so you're not I mean it's like paying $30 for each of these products is you know like you have your compact right here and then you have your refill right here 
Um, so I like that because then it's not, it, it feels more like a regular SPF that you buy at Sephora, Nordstrom, or like Paula Choice, or uh, Elta MD, uh, London's price line at $20, $30. This is kind of like that, you're paying $30 for each of these products. So I think I, I enjoy it, it's not my favorite one. But I will keep using it because I think during summertime it's really important that we're not putting a lot of makeup on and we just want to like even it out, out a little bit of our skin and maybe like I said apply some cream blush and cream uh, bronzer and a little bit of um, kind of like a cream highlighter if you wish so this will be easier for application and to continuously reapply our SPF. Um, it will be kind of pricey because every two hours reapplication it's a little bit up there and this is not waterproof. But other than that my friends, that's a wrap. So I really hope you enjoy this video, that you like these reviews and wear tests. Please leave your comments down below. If I'm missing something doing this wear test, something that will be helpful for you, please let me know, leave the comments, leave your questions down below, so that way I can improve my videos and give you also the answers on all these products that I'm reviewing for you. Thank you so much for your time, thank you so much for watching, and until the next time, you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.